Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Cated Painting. Today we're going to be painting Anakin Skywalker's apprentice Ahsoka Tano. And if you haven't seen the cartoons, uh, you don't really understand who she is. And then when she shows up in The Mandalorian, you're like, who is, who is this? Let's do it! So as I said, today we're going to be painting Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars Shatterpoint by Atomic Mass Games. Um, very cool miniature. Let's get her painted up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to give her a spray of white. This is an awesome miniature. And then we're going to move on to Stormy Blue. Now this is going to go on her pants and... Uh, uh, yeah, her pants and also her boots. So also behind her uh, shin guards and knee pads here as well. Uh, fair warning, uh, there's going to be a ton of blue in this. And trying to make all these blues look a little different is uh it's kind of a it's it's a bit of a challenge but we're gonna do it and we're gonna take some ultramarine blue and this is gonna go basically all over her um her tunic i guess it is it's her skirt and her shirt um and in between uh some of these armor panels on her legs and on her wrists as well And we're going to take some orange fire and this is going all over her face, her arms, and her hands. Um, this is basically her skin color, or at least the base that we're going to use for her skin color. We're going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade, and this is going all over all the blue that we just did. I would just like to offer a theory uh, that everyone says the best storyline in Star Wars, the best redemption story is Anakin Skywalker. And as a, as, a, as a character, like a actual character in the story, that's true. But I would say that the best redemption story in Star Wars is Ahsoka Tano. Because when she first showed up in the Clone Wars movies, which was just like a couple episodes that they had put together and released in the theater, uh, nope. Nobody liked her. Not even a little bit. They hated the idea that Anakin Skywalker had a Padawan, and they didn't like her. She was annoying. And he called her Snips. That was annoying. And she called him Sky Guy, which was really annoying. And then uh, seven years, well, six seasons, and then the seventh was later, six seasons of The Clone Wars uh, basically changed everyone's mind about that character. And now she's like one of the most popular Star Wars characters of all time. So... Filoni did a heck of a job, man, because everyone thought that was terrible, and now they all love her, including me. And we're going to move on to some Fugan Orange, and this is going all over the skin that we just did, so all over that orange. We're going to take that Stormy Blue, and we're going to mix in some Magic Blue, and we're going to start doing highlights up on the original Stormy Blue that we did. So on her pants, uh, and in between uh, her shin guards and knee guards here, and also on her feet. We're going to add in a touch more uh, Magic Blue, and just do a second highlight layer up on all that. Now 
take some ultramarine blue and then we're going to add in a little ducat blue and we're going to start highlighting up all of that original ultramarine blue that we did um as we do this like always just take your time go through and just get those raised areas um leave uh our recesses behind and our edges behind just so we can get that shading and build this up And we'll add in a little bit more Ducat Blue and just do a second highlight up on there. So we're leaving the original color, the recess, and then we're leaving a little bit of the last layer that we just did and putting this on the most raised areas. And we're going to take our orange fire and we're going to start adding in uh, little bits of dwarf skin to start highlighting up all that orange that we did. So we definitely want to hit the cheeks, the nose, the eyebrows, um, the forehead, and also uh, all the raised areas on the arms and the hands and the fingers. And we're gonna add in a little bit more of that dwarf skin and we're just gonna go through and add another highlight layer. So again, just the most raised areas. As we go through, our highlight layer gets uh, smaller and smaller and smaller because we're leaving behind everything that we've done. And we're gonna take a little bit of dead white here and we're just gonna do those designs that she has on her face. I don't know if they're tattoos or if they're just part of being uh, her alien race, but uh, I'm doing them, whatever. And we're gonna take some royal purple to do her lips. Now I'm gonna do my best to kind of make it look like she's smirking. So I'm gonna raise it on the one side and it, it kind of works out, but uh, just be careful and go through and uh, get those lips done. And we're gonna take some sun yellow here. So this is gonna be used as um, just on all the trim of her outfit. So she's got some trim on the skirt and she's got some trim also on her chest and on her back here. So we're just gonna go through and just give a layer of that. So we're gonna take some Templar White and some Express Medium and this is gonna go on her Leku. See, I, I did Google this because I know that the Twi'leks have Leku. Those are the things that hang off their head. But these, this, these are different than Twi'leks. Are they still called Leku? Someone illuminate me because I couldn't find any sort of information that said it wasn't Leku. Okay, good. So we're gonna take some cobalt metal here and this is going over all the armor pieces she has. So her wrist guards, knee pads, shin guards, uh, the armor on her feet. Also um, the trim around most of the armor that she's wearing on her legs and her waist.
and we're gonna take some dark gray blue and this is just gonna go on the fingerless gloves that she's wearing And we're going to take some night blue just when you thought we were done with all this blue. We're not. So the night blue is going to be going on all of the designs on her uh, Leku. Um, this is all sculpted in. You don't have to freehand anything. All the lines are there. So it's as simple as painting anything else, luckily. And we're gonna just take a bit more of that dead white and we're just gonna highlight up the white parts of her Leku. So we're just gonna leave the recesses with that Templar uh, white and express medium. And we're gonna switch over to Runic Gray and this is going all over that cobalt metal that we just did. So. Um, I love using this as an armor wash, so yeah, just get it all over there. And we're going to take some beastie brown, and this is just going to go on these straps on the back of her armor pieces. So the straps on her knee pads, shin guards, and her wrist guards. And we're going back to that night blue and we're going to add in just a little bit of white here and do a highlight up on all that uh, night blue we did on her Leku. I'm going to take that white and also dot in her eyes. We're going to take some Grave Lord Grey and this is just going to go on her lightsaber handles. Now we're going to take some Ducat Blue and some White and we are going to put the Ducat Blue on her lightsaber and then we're going to take the White and put it near the tip and then we're going to wet blend those two colors together. So it's okay if it's not perfect but we're going to try and get it uh, as close to a transition as we can. We're going to take some tan and just do a highlight up on all that beastie brown we just did. Once that is finished, we will do the base, we'll add the black rim, and she is done. And I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. Um, there are little parts that I would like to go through and clean up with uh, giving a little bit more time. Um, but all in all, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and it's an easier way to teach you guys how to, uh, get these things on the table and finished. Um, I had a lot of trouble figuring out how I was going to do all that blue. Um, but this turned out pretty good. So what do you guys think? Did you not like Ahsoka at first and then you got, uh, converted like I did? Uh, I would, I would genuinely curious what people have to say about her because honestly again when she first came out i don't think anybody liked her either way thank you guys so much for watching please like share comment subscribe all the youtube stuff and you guys have a great day one of my favorite episode arcs of the clone wars is when she gets uh taken and uh put into the trandoshan like hunting preserve um yeah i love those i think those are such great episodes uh, honestly, did not expect her to be one of the best characters in Star Wars. Didn't, didn't see that coming.